very much, Sunny. Good afternoon to you all, members of the executive committee, members of the management committee of the Blasters, members of the technical team, distinguished invited guests, media men and women, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first thank all of you for responding to our invitation to attend this press conference. Um, it is customary that after every major tournament, such as the Nations Cup, we address the press to explain one or two issues that will otherwise linger on the minds of uh, members of the public. And so this afternoon, the Executive Committee considered the reports of the Ghana team that participated at the 2013 African Cup of Nations in South Africa. The reports covered reports from management, the head coach, the team doctor, the psychologist, the team media officer, and other key staff who participated uh, in this competition. We have reviewed Ghana's participation at this competition, and uh, we are very quick to admit that the performance of the team fell below the expectation of all of us. And so on that occasion, we would like to render an unqualified apology to all Ghanaians for this performance. Before we left to South Africa, the objective said the team was to win gold. But you all agree with me that the fourth place performance broke many Ghanaian hearts and it was not our intention to do that. We have looked at the reports and uh, very useful lessons have been drawn on the way forward. We think that looking at the average age of the team, which is about 23 years, uh, the team was full of youth and so holds a huge potential for the future. We are very hopeful that if we nurture the qualities that were embedded in this team, which were good team spirit, unity, togetherness, strong bonds of friendship among the players, we will be able to build a better team that will make us proud in the next edition of the African Cup of Nations. We realize that uh, the main challenge that confronted the team was the quality and commitment of players at the competition. Uh, before the competition, we all had a very high hope that with the quality of players we had, uh, we were going to make a huge impact. However, it was not to be the case. After qualifying to the semi-finals, uh, we were unable to, to progress to the finals. And one startling a trend that was also established was that for the past um, five years, uh, it appears that the team has not been able to progress beyond the semi-final, or the team has not been able to win after winning five matches. After winning five matches, it appears to be a deadlock or a, a cool de sac beyond which we are not able to, to progress. So it raises a big psychological issue which will be, we think should be of interest to researchers. We ourselves will take it up with the appropriate uh, experts and then unravel the mystery surrounding uh, this performance. We also look at the coaching department of the team and uh, we thought that once the team did not do well, then the performance was also an issue that ought to be looked at. Uh, the technical team headed by the head coach did a, a commendable job considering this was the first outing at such a major competition. However, we thought that the team deserved to do better. And so we're looking at how to strengthen the capacity of our technical team uh, so that uh, it will bring them to a level that will enable them to do better at subsequent uh, competitions. Um, this short or welcome address will not be complete without acknowledging the roles that various institutions and personalities played 
in ensuring how far the team went. The first of it is the President of the Republic, His Excellency John Draman Mahama, and the Government of Ghana for the confidence they repose in the team and demonstrating that confidence by approving a budget that ran into several millions of dollars to finance our participation at the Nations Cup. We also like to place on record the support that His Excellency the Vice President offered the team uh, on, the eve, on the day of uh, the Kotafana bet with uh, Burkina Faso. The Minister in semi-finance, thank you for the correction. The, the Minister for Communications, who was the national coordinator for this competition, Honorable Dr. Edredo Manibuama, was also very helpful. He was the team leader, he was a motivator and an inspirer. We also like to thank uh, the immediately preceding Minister, Honorable Clement Humado, who had held the fort even before then, and the incoming Minister, Honorable Elvis Safri Ankara. I would like to also place on record the support that our sponsors offered us. And I'd like to mention the Ghana National Procurement Corporation, Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, for the support they offered us. Apart from the financial uh, sponsorship that they offered, they were hugely represented there by the officials, led by the indefatigable board chairman, Mr. Atu Ahoy. Incidentally, Mr. Atu Ahoy is the most decorated um, club chairman in Ghana. If you don't remember, he was board chairman of Accra Sofo during those glorious moments of the club. He was there with his other brothers, Honorable Kwesi uh, Ahoy and uh, Bam Ahoy. They came there in their individual capacities as Ghanaians to support the team. Before then, the Chief of Staff, Mr. Prosper Bani, was also there to motivate uh, the team. There were other government officials, Dr. Tianjin, Minister of Environment. Beyond that, uh, other